Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to show you something from the canon of weirdly named great British foods, Bubble and Squeak. So I've had about three requests for this from Hazel B, Nana Chan and Stephen Bishop. Uh, guys, this is for you. And also this is a vegetarian meal, it could even be vegan if you leave the butter out of the mashed potatoes. And although the name Bubble and Squeak is very well known, you rarely see it on a cafe or restaurant menu, maybe because it's not a fixed recipe as such. You might find it in very basic greasy spoon type cafes and in some knowingly ironic hipster gastro pubs. <laughs> so it's a, it's a very basic thing and it's just a way of using up leftovers from maybe a Sunday roast when you accidentally on purpose made too many vegetables. <laughs> anyway, Bubble and Squeak, easy to do, let's do it. Okay, ingredients for the Bubble and Squeak, we've got leftover mashed potato, leftover vegetables, a bit of fresh parsley, which I like but it's optional, and a little bit of ground black pepper. The vegetables usually feature cabbage because that's what Brits used to live on. Maybe carrots, peas, parsnips, really whatever. Nobody's going to come around and beat you up if you put the wrong things in. There's no salt needed because these things should be seasoned already. If you're making fresh leftovers, obviously you'll need to salt them. Anyway, let's get going. So all we do is uh, throw it all into a, a bowl and mix it all together. Well, there's, there's two ways of doing this. You could put that whole lot in the pan in one solid sort of disc, uh, but that gets a bit tricky to turn over and finish off properly. Or you can form them into form it into little cake-like things, and that's a lot easier to deal with. Now I've got some oil. Uh, this is rapeseed oil, actually, heating in a pan until it's quite hot, and we add our chunks of bubble and squeak which really doesn't, well it's bubbling a, bu a bit, doesn't squeak much. <laughs> and you want to let those cook each side for about five minutes. You don't mess about with them in between. Okay, now time to turn them over. Well, oh, I've lost my crunchy crust. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, we've got some there. This is what we're after. This is the most wonderful thing. Okay, there it is. Uh, actually, not the best one I've ever made. I think the vegetables were a bit too wet. However, it will taste wonderful. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. Bubble and squeak. Oh, and by the way, I'm planning to do more vegetarian, vegan type recipes, but I, d I don't have a great repertoire of that. So if you've got any suggestions, anything you'd like me to try, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. And that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Now please share it with all your friends on social media. Subscribe to this channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and don't forget the amazing website that has all the details of all the recipes. And thank you for watching. Come back soon.